comes. Let me see, everyone. Ghazi, Iyad, Muhammad Abdullah, Talal, Amir, Ismail, Umar, Talim, Fawzi. Show me. Good, 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 everyone. Let's start. Say Bismillah. 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 Okay. Bismillah. Great boy. Now. My boys, I'm going no. to mute your microphones, okay? No, 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 no. Yes, and then when I ask you to unmute your microphone, you can do it, all right? So we can start our lesson. Let's see. Welcome, dear students, to our science class. I am Miss al -Anud. okay? Let's memorize or uh, refresh our memory about our classroom rules first of all you have to sign in on time find some quiet place to study listen i want you to listen and look at the screen raise your hand answer when teacher calls your name do not draw on the screen please guys do not draw on the screen and do not talk to your friends okay I can see many of you are raising up the hand, but guys, we didn't start yet. So please, let us begin. Today is Sunday, 13 of September, 2020. We are studying science. Unit one, listen one. How do we use inquiry skills? Oh, I'm talking about something. What is inquiry skills? Okay, let's see. Inquiry skills, one of the most important things you have to uh, do to be a scientist. You have to ask a question, form a hypothesis, conduct an experiment, record observation and make a conclusion. And to do all that, you need inquiry skills. What are inquiry skills? First of all is observe the first inquiry skill you need is to observe and to observe you need to use your five senses okay to make a good observation you need to ask yourself how does okay for example how does the object feel or what color is the object how does the object taste or smell? What does the object sound like? These questions help you to observe. If you are able to answer this question, so you can observe. Let's see. Over here, we, we learned about who this boy and girl, they are trying to use their inquiry skills. Why? To find out information, okay? They are observing. Observing means to use your inquiry skills. Please, 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 boys, do not draw on my screen. Okay? You are big boys now. Look at Danny. Danny is asking, what can we observe in my backyard? They went to their backyard. Then Danny and Sophie want to observe things in the backyard. So they will plan an investigation. They plan how to find out what they want to know. So planning is one of the inquiry skill. Let me draw for you a square on what we want to know. So observe, okay, plan an investigation. Then they also predict. What do I mean by predict? Predict is to make a good guess, okay? Make a good guess. Okay, to make a good guess. Now let's see the second inquiry skill. We want to know. 
they they use increase skill to learn more about what about the backyard they also using measure they measure the house to observe and explore the backyard they want to know the size of this house is it too big or too small or is it medium look at sophie sophie compare so this is another inquiry skill this is another inquiry skill she compares okay she compares leaves she observes how they are alike and how they are different remember over here down there we learned which one is the largest and which one is the smallest okay finally guys we want to make a model to make a model and infer about it now danny and sophie draw a map of the backyard they are making a model to show what something is like so it's not a real thing but it shows what is something is like you could also make a model to show how something work now I want one of you to read this paragraph for me before I show you a video. Okay, let's stop animating and let me see. Okay, now where are my participants? I want, okay. Salim Bagadir, please unmute your microphone and read for me this paragraph. Which one? This one or this one? Danny and Sophie, the, the, the lower one on the right side, down. Danny and Sophie. Danny and mm -hmm. Sophie. Mm -hmm. Yes. Use 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 one more uh, one 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 more one more inquiry skill one more inquiry skill what is it they what they Danny and Sophie Uh, mm, e, they infer. They what? They infer. Excellent. Thank you, Salem. Thank you. You can mute your microphone again. Please, Ghazi. Ghazi? Can you unmute your microphone, please, Ghazi? Okay, now, Ghazi, I want you to complete reading. They use what they know. Yes. To what? Can you see the pointer, the red pointer? No. Over here, it's moving. Can you see now? No. You can't see the red? Pointed? No, I can't see it. Okay, let's see. Thank you, Ghazi. You can mute your microphone. What about Ahmed? Can you unmute your microphone, please? Yes. Yes, my dear Ahmed. So, they use what they know to what? Can you read? To A question. Thank you, Ahmed. Thank you. You can mute your microphone again. Thank you, my dear. So, boys, Danny and Sophie use one more inquiry skill. They infer. What do I mean by infer? They use what they know to answer a question. Are there any living things in the backyard? They can 
infer that the backyard is home to many plants and animals. So they already know that. That's why they already answered. Okay, let's see who's raising up their hand. Who? Okay, Umar, please unmute your microphone. Tell me you raised the hand for? For... Okay, what does model mean? A model is what? The backyard. The backyard, excellent. Okay, what is it about you? Why do you make a model? Why? Because we can make a model to show uh, how something works. Excellent! So we make a model to show how something works. If, I, if you know something about the backyard and you have a lot of things in the backyard, you want to come to us and explain to us about it. You can't bring your backyard here, is that right? You cannot do that, but what you can do is to make a model just like this one over here, okay? And then this is a model looks exactly like your backyard and you will tell us about it. You will tell us the information about it. Is that like right? A tree, like a tree. Like excellent. A tree. Excellent. Thank you, Omar. You can, uh, un you can mute your microphone. Now let's see Muhammad Ahmed. Muhammad Ahmed. Can you unmute your microphone? Yes. yes? Okay, you raised the hand. What do you need, my dear? You say you will open the camera. Oh, that's right. After we finish, is it okay? After we finish, my dear? Yeah. Okay, now think about what you know about winter. Huh, Muhammad Ahmed, tell me, what do you know about winter? Then I want you to infer what Danny and Sophie might observe in the backyard during winter. What you can see in the backyard during winter? Hiya, Muhammad. Snowman. Excellent. Not a snowman. Snowman, you can build a snowman, but you sometimes you might see snow. Excellent. Thank you, Omar. Thank you. Oh, sorry, Muhammad. Thank you. Thank you. Now mute your microphone and let's see Muhammad Tabit. Can you unmute your microphone, Muhammad Tabit? Yes. Okay. So what can you see in winter in the backyard? I want you to infer. Do you have troubling by uh, troubling know the word infer? Do you want me to explain for you what is infer? Yeah. Okay, Muhammad. Infer means when you say something, okay, or answering a question based okay. on an information that you already know. So if you know about winter and how winter looks like, you can answer the question, how would the playground or the backyard will look like in winter? What do you think? Your friend said there might be snow over there in winter or on the trees, on the leaves. What about the insects? Hmm? What did you say? Do you think insects will be outside or they will be hiding because it's freezing outside? Insects and animals. Will you see any animals in winter outside in your backyard? or they will be hiding because it's too cold. Huh, Muhammad? Are you there with me? Yeah. Okay, tell me. Are they going what? to be, 
very cold and hiding or they will be yeah. out? Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, guys, I want you one more, one more boy. I want you to infer. Tell me a statement about something you already know. Answer this question about something you already know. You already know how it look like in winter. So tell me about the backyard in winter. How will it look like? Uh, let's see. I want Talal. Please unmute your microphone. Talal? Please unmute your microphone. Yes. Okay, good. Tell me one more thing. Will it be rainy outside in the backyard? In winter. Does rain come down in winter? I can't hear you. I don't remember. Winter, my dear. Rain comes in winter or in summer? Winter. Okay. So you can infer that rain will come down in the backyard. What about the birds? The birds can fly in the uh, in the rain or they will hide? Excellent, 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 excellent. Thank you, dear. Thank you. Thank you for participating. So they might observe trees with no leaves or flowers. See, also Danny and Sophie will think that in winter maybe the leaves will die and flowers will not bloom because it's too cold for them, okay? Okay, boys, now I want to show you a video before we finish this session, okay? I will take your question, okay, guys? Okay, guys, let's share this video with you, okay? Let's do it. Welcome to the lesson, How Do We Use Inquiry Skills? We're going to ask questions about the world and investigate them. The vocabulary word for this lesson is Inquiry Skills. Click the word to find out more about it. Inquiry Skills The skills people use to find out information. Have you ever been unable to do something as well as you'd like? Don't worry. We all have. In fact, scientists sometimes fail a lot before they succeed. Even Thomas Edison failed. He failed many, many times trying to make a battery. Look around you. When you ask questions about what you see, hear, taste, smell, and touch, you are using inquiry skills. Click each picture to learn more. How are these shapes the same? How are they different? You just compared the shapes. When you put alike things together, you classify or sort them. How is this model car like a real car? You can learn a lot from models. What do you think you do with this object? You measure the weight of things. When you observe, you use your five senses to learn about things. When you predict, you make a good guess about what will happen. 
How can this child predict what the weather might be like? This boy is using his eyes to make observations. In fact, he's using binoculars to help him see the forest around him more clearly. Using his senses, he can make observations about the animals and plants he sees there. Can you guess what he may be looking at? Click the play button to begin. What is Alexander Graham Bell doing? He is learning more about how telephones work. Like Bell, you can make a plan to test your own ideas. Let's do an experiment. Where do we start? There are many ways to investigate. However, many scientists have a certain order of steps they follow for their experiments. Here's one possible way. Click each picture to learn more. First, we'll make observations. What do we see, hear, taste, smell, and feel? Next, we'll use our inquiry skills. We might measure, compare, or build a model. We don't have to use all of our inquiry skills each time. Using the information we gathered, we'll plan our investigation. Finally, we get to do our investigation. It sure took a lot of work to get ready for it. Okay, boys. Now, boys, can you see my screen? Can you see my, you only hear my voice then, okay. Okay. I want you I want you to tell me any questions you have about inquiry skills. Do you know everything about inquiry skills and what are they? I can see Amara Safi, you are raising up your hand. Can you unmute your microphone and tell me? Yes, Amar, you are raising your hand. Do you have any question? Um. Uh, yes. It's clear if kids die, you mean? Mm-hmm. I taste. Excellent. You need to observe. Great job. Thank you. Touch. Touch. Yes. Excellent. So you need to observe. Yes. Do you need to predict or plan? Yes. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. Okay, that's it guys for today. Thank you for joining us in science class. I would like from you next time not to write in the chat and try to listen. Okay guys, thank you for being here and see you inshallah tomorrow in another session. Goodbye.